My name is Gordon Bowen from JTEC. Today I'm going to show you how to check for oil leaks, coolant leaks, air leaks, and fuel leaks. First off, you're going to start by looking for oil leaks. You're going to look around the engine block for any kind of oil sludge or leaking oil. Start from the top, go to the bottom. You go to this side, check this side out. You can't really see from the cell phone but well, there's some engine sludge on the side of the block and when you're looking for an oil leak you want to find the highest point that it's coming from and you want to find the farthest point forward to the front of the motor because the air blows it back towards the back as you're driving and now you're going to check the coolant Check your coolant level. And you're about, about at right over minimum, so it needs some coolant. And you could possibly have a coolant leak if it keeps draining. But you want to check around all your coolant hose connections, like these hoses. Make sure there's no cracks or leaks around the connections. You want to check around your radiator and make sure your radiator's not leaking anywhere, especially around hose connections, like I said. And then, also for coolant, you want to check around your thermostat housing, make sure there's no leaks around there, and your water pump. The seals can go bad and it can be leaking around the seals. No leaks around the hoses. Now you're going to check for fuel leaks. Go around to the fuel pump in the front of the motor. Right over here you can't see it because it's dark. There's no leaks. You want to check all your fuel hoses and connections. Still no leaks. Check around your fuel tanks. Make sure there's no leaks around the fuel tanks. You can't really see back up under here. Then you're gonna go to the other side of the other fuel tank. And you also want to check your fuel lines running all the way down to your fuel tanks underneath. But I'm not gonna show that in the video. It takes a little bit too much time. But you want to check around there, there's no leaks coming from the fuel tanks. So that should be good. And now, you want to check for air leaks. Climb in here. Check your air gauges. Hit hit that power switch. You want to watch your air pressure gauges. And once they build up to 120, once you shut the truck off, if it leaks below or leaks more than 2 psi, then more than likely you have an air leak somewhere. And to find the air leak, you can get a uh, easiest way is to get a bottle of soapy water and spray it around all your air hoses. And if it's leaking anywhere, the soap in the water will bubble, and there's your leak. And that's how you check for oil leaks, air leaks, coolant leaks, and fuel leaks.